Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a data table using build data table activity in UiPath and I am going to add some rows in the data table. So let me search for activity called sequence and drop it in designer panel. Now search for activity called build data table. Drag and drop it into the sequence. I am going to rename the sequence name as data table stuff once you click on the build data table activity in the properties panel at output we have to create a variable and its data type should be data table and create a variable name it as my data table output variable is created and its name is my data table variable type is data table now when you click on data table it pops up a window and it has default columns you can remove these columns and to add new column click on this plus I am going to create a column at the and name it as ID. Data type should be int. Allow null. I am going to allowing nulls. So at init click on the checkbox because id should not be same so that our data table throw an error when any of the users have the same id click on ok one column is created to add one more column click on this plus i am going to add one more column and name it as first name data type let it be string allow null and max length is minus 1 because it allows me unlimited amount of space for each name click on ok I am going to add one more column and name it as last name let it be minus 1 and click on ok three columns were created in the data table now I am going to add rows to this data table so that search for activity called add data row click on this add data row in the properties panel we have to supply to which data table the row has to go and add I am giving my data table here are two attributes say array row and data row so add data row activity allows us to either pass in a data row object or an array row objects let me choose first one array row now click on these three dots i'm going to add a row for the column name id i'm giving one and for the first name say john and for the last name i'm going to give jesse Now click on OK. I 
and search for activity called output data table at the properties panel in the input attribute give the variable name my data table at the output attribute create a new variable and name it as data out to display this data table i am going to use an activity called message box and supply variable name data out let me save and run this we got output with one row and column names are id last name and first name and now i am going to add one more data row to the data table my data table search for activity called add data row add a row set to comma for the last name jessie now it's julie comma and for the first name this smith now click on okay we have to provide to which data table this row had to go and add let me run this two rows have added to the data table please subscribe to my channel thank you